Hello, and welcome to one of our 11 Together to Goal Plank Mentor webcasts. Today, we'll be hearing from Dr. Brian Shablin of Lehigh Valley Physician Group. Dr. Shablin is the Plank Mentor for the Use a Patient Registry Campaign Plank. Dr. Shablin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Great, let's get started. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you and your organization? I was an independent provider in kind of a rural area in uh, Lehigh County, uh, Schuylkill County. Um, we joined a group and we decided to join Lehigh Valley Hospital because it was an organization that seemed to be focused more on quality and bettering patient care um, and doing things the right way. So I encouraged my group to um, join them. We were looking to join another organization. Um, since that time, the organizations continue to grow. Um, Leah Valley Physicians Group is the physician part of that. There's over 2,000 providers in it now. Um, we have eight different hospital campuses, planning another one. Um, the emphasis on quality has kind of drawn me in from the beginning, um, and they've kept me involved in that. Um, I work primarily in the outpatient area now. I used to do inpatient, but now I'm primarily outpatient. Great. And how does your patient registry inform diabetes quality improvement efforts at the population health level? So when I first started getting involved in quality, we had a different computer system. It wasn't used very much in the uh, preventative care arena um, on a consistent basis. Um, then we updated to EPIC. And with EPIC, a big part of EPIC is being able to look at your, what they call health maintenance. Um, and we're able to follow and graph in detail how practices are doing, how the network's doing, how um, you're doing all the way down to an individual level. Um, the patient registry is what makes up the backbone of that. So um, you look at your graphs and you can drill all the way down to an individual patient and find out patients in need of particular services or errors in your registry. Great. And can you talk a little bit more about how your patient registry informs a patient visit? So we do a lot of pre-visit planning. So our uh, patient registry will show up in our reports. We do what are called not met reports. So patients that don't meet a particular goal. And uh, when they're pre-visit planning, they'll kind of review this and we'll make notes when the patient's here for their visit, we'll make sure they get their pneumonia vaccine if they're needed for mammogram if it's needed. Um, we'll also use that outside of visits to do the same efforts. Um, contact patients by mail or phone. And how does the patient registry enhance your diabetes care coordination? For diabetes in particular, it's been a network focus um, because there's so many people affected with diabetes. I think the last number I saw in our um, area, we have over 26,000 patients with diabetes. Um, so it's a large contributor to our healthcare cost. Um, so we try to focus on them and improving control. Um, that's been our goal. It's been hard to move, but since we've had Epic and we can focus more and come out with network-wide efforts, it's um, really taken a turn in the positive direction. Great. What are some of the challenges to using a patient registry and how have you addressed them? So you're only as good as your data. And what we find as we go through this, um, we have a group that is contracted that helps to design these um, dashboards and, and registries. So we have to have kind of a registry manager that can kind of go in and um, correct errors. So we'll have uh, patients that are um, listed as maybe diabetic and they're not diabetic or we'll have missing data. So um, that's always a challenge and it's always something you have to keep on top of. Um, last year, we found that um, as our specialists were traveling to our new campuses, um, the, the patients from those new campuses were suddenly being incorporated into our existing network, making it look like we were doing worse. And it took us a little while to figure that out, but once we identified it, we can get it fixed this year and move forward without having that problem. I'm sure there'll be other problems that bounce up. I'm not the one programming the uh, um, the, the graphs that we're looking at and coming up with these registries, but there's always registry errors that you have to stay focused on. Um, one of the biggest things we did in our practice was clean up our impediment. 
um, eliminate patients that are transferred, patients that haven't been seen in a few years, um, patients that are deceased. Because they all count into our registry and it makes an inefficient use of your time when you're tracking out patients you can improve the care on. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here today, Dr. Shablin, and sharing your experience with other Together to Goal campaign participants. As a reminder to fellow participants, if you'd like to contact Dr. Shablin to discuss implementation of the Use a Patient Registry campaign plank at your organization, email t2gmentor at amga.org. Also, check out our remaining Together to Goal Plank Mentor webcast on our website to discover what other experts have done to improve diabetes care across the country.